Well, we have a water tunnel facility, and we're very interested in uh, looking at how patterning a surface, you can reduce um, drag or control the boundary layer. The system that we use is, is known as um, digital particle image velocimetry, and basically what we do is we seed the flow with particles, and we then shine a laser sheet into the water. The laser beam is coming uh, right out of here from the laser. We're directing it using mirrors up here. Then we're shining it this way. We have to focus the beam uh, to the correct, uh, to where we want it focused. And then we use a, a we shine it into a sheet. So now uh, it's in a horizontal uh, sheet and it's going through the cavities or through the model that uh, we want to, to test. Now we have the camera down here. Um, and so we take images of these particles using a digital camera. So it looks sort of like you're looking at a starry night. There's all these little white dots um, that represent the particles. And then we take two sequential images of the particles and uh, we then have a computer program that can analyze those images and tell us how the particles are being displaced and from that we can measure velocity. Okay, so this is um, a, the actual prototype of a shark, bristled shark skin model that we manufactured. Um, basically, we can draw up the geometry using a uh, software known as Pro Engineering. So it's a graphical software where you model a three-dimensional shape. You repeat that shape and then use what's something known as a rapid prototype machine, which is basically a 3D printer. And we have these facilities at the University of Alabama. So these were generated uh, at the University of Alabama. The cost of, uh, of this particular model uh, was over about $1,000. And so you can see it takes a long time for these to be generated, but then we embed them in a plate and then we uh, allowed the flow to pass over the surface uh, in the water tunnel uh, like that. And then what we saw was inside these little cavities um, that we saw the formation of these little vortices inside here. So this is a, an extreme case of, uh, of bristling. Uh, normally these would be more laid 90 degrees flat. And then we looked at an extreme case of bristling because you can see the access from the side for actually seeing inside the cavities and then measuring the flow with our um, digital particle image velocimetry system, uh, we had that access. So future work we're going to be looking at um, actual different angles of these, um, of these uh, scales with respect to uh, the flow. And so future work is going to uh, focus on that. But ultimately we are trying to reduce drag, um, which again um, can translate into fuel savings and, and those sort of uh, issues. So on aircraft, um, underwater vehicles, um, uh, and as I said, possibly even automobiles. And there may be some sports technologies that would be interested in, in patterning a surface to decrease drag.